Pat has lost two nephews to gun violence in the last year. One last September, just five months after she lost her nephew, Latiti's son, Ryan Clark, at Virginia Tech. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Pat Craig. It is an honor for me to be here tonight, to be a part of this very special tribute to the people, the organization, the Brady Campaign, the Brady Center, that have made the difference this year in defending America's gun laws and passing sensible gun legislation like the Nicks Bill. On April 16, 2007, 32 people were murdered and 26 wounded at Virginia Tech. Ryan Clark, my nephew, was one of them. The dead have no voice, no vote. The injured and their loved ones are left with no choice other than to live with the horror and the sadness of senseless gun violence. All throughout history, there have been people like you to speak for those who cannot speak for themselves. And at this point, I would like to invite all the Virginia Tech victims and families to stand so that we can recognize and applaud their courage and commitment. Would you stand, please? Thank you very much. We spoke out, we gave interviews with the press, we lobbied our legislators, we lay down in demonstration and we became the voice of reason and common sense in the fight to strengthen gun, America's gun laws. We are a people of faith. I will walk through any fire to protect and save the life of a loved one. But eventually, at some point, my feet will get burned and charred from the fire my shoulders will bend from the weight of the charge. And I will find myself asking myself, why am I doing this? It's because every day, 32 of my brothers are laid to rest on the, on the foundation of victims of senseless gun violence. When you get tired, because it seems as if no one is listening or people just don't get it, or those of us who are recent to the Stand Up For a Safe America movement are having a meltdown. Know this. Know this, that you do what no other memorial can do. You give life. You give a voice to the voiceless, courage to the wounded, and hope that we can fix it so that our brother will live. You silence those who call us naive and condescendingly say our ideas are ambitious. This past year, because of you, we were able to stand up and others joined in. Legislators heard us. They passed the Nicks bill. The president signed it, and more legislation to close gun show loophole was introduced by Senators Lautenberg and Reed. The Brady Campaign and Brady Centers helped us show the public and the lawmakers that we don't have to stand by, give up, and give in to shootings in our neighborhoods, shopping malls, schools, or anywhere else. We will get laws passed. We will close the gun show loophole. We will close down irresponsible gun leaders, and we will ban assault weapons. We will get the lawmakers elected and those running for office, including our presidential candidates to talk about and support common solutions to gun violence. And we will change public attitudes. We are a people of faith. Our faith has and will continue to move us and others from feeling stymied, angry, and frozen with a sh when a shooting occurs to call for stronger gun laws. Laws that keep dangerous weapons out of the hands of dangerous people. And I am so very thankful to all of you. Our loved ones are absent from the body forever, but never. Their spirits live on in our heart, mind, and soul. 21 years ago today, April 9th, Leslie Adams was born. Leslie was killed in the second shooting at Virginia Tech in Norris Hall. So in memory of Leslie, and in memory and tribute to all victims and families of gun violence, let's stand and toast to continue our work to pass sensible gun laws. 
to take bold and courageous action so that others will not suffer as we have and so that our schools, workplaces, and communities are safe. So raise your glasses, please. Happy birthday, Leslie, to Sarah and Jim Brady, to you and to us, and to the will to pass sensible gun laws. We salute. Thank you.